In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model, rig, and animate this bee in Blender. So let's get started. Drag in an image of a bee into your viewport. You can find this one in the description below. You're then going to add in a cube and in edit mode, you're going to just roughly model that cube to the shape of the bee. So you're just going to grab a face, you're going to extrude, rotate, and just move it around, making the front and the back part of a bee. Super simple. Add in some loops and just use the smooth tool to smooth it out a little bit. Loop select some edges, duplicate that, bring it down, rotate it, and then just extrude that to start making the basic cylindrical part of the leg bring it all the way down, rotate it in the side view to make it look natural, use the proportional editing if you need to to adjust some things. I'm duplicating this leg now, moving it to the back, simply going to use the proportional editing tool to pull these verts around and I'm scaling up the loops, just selecting them, scaling them, making it look like a bit of a larger leg. I'm now duplicating an edge here and just extruding it along the wing, adding in some basic cuts just to move out some points with the proportional editing tool and there we have a super easy wing. In the materials tab, give it a new material, call that B, and then go to the base color drop down, give it an image texture, and select that B image. In your UV editing workspace, you're going to select all of the geometry, project from view, and then in your left window here, you're just going to try and match it up to the image by scaling and moving it around with the proportional editing tool. It doesn't have to be perfect, just get it rough. Now you can see we have to be image texture applied here. Now in edit mode, we're going to delete half the B, we're going to give it a mirror modifier, enable the Y axis, and make sure to enable clipping. Also, rotate the wing now and adjust it to see how you like it. Make sure it looks good to you. When you're happy, you have to you can do some final adjustments to the B in edit mode using the proportional fall off tool and just make it all look natural. I'm now selecting the front leg, I'm just simply duplicating it and I'm just rotating half of it to make the second leg to save us some time with modeling. Adjusting the wings a little bit if I need to and now we have a B. Now have your B selected in your shape key section, you're going to hit the plus twice, call this key one flaps and with that flaps keyframe selected in edit mode, you're just going to simply bend the wings down to make it look kind of like a downward flap. Now back in object mode, we're going to go to our timeline on frame one. With the flaps selected in the value of zero, we're going to add a keyframe. Move up two frames, then with a value of one, we're going to give it a keyframe. Select both of these keyframes, shift D to move them up and then shift R to repeat that action all along the timelines as many times as needed. Now we have some nice flaps. We're now going to add in an armature. We're going to select the B and move it up. Then we're going to select that armature and in edit mode, we're going to duplicate the first bone. And in wireframe, we're just going to rotate it and move it to the back of the B. Then we're going to grab the end nub and extrude it two times to make the body and the head. Then back in object mode, we're going to select the B, holding and shift select the armature, set parent with automatic weight. We're now going to select the armature, we're going to go into pose mode and we're just going to randomly rotate and move some of the bones, inserting keyframes with the I key and um, go along the timeline, just add them in every now and then just to give a little bit of movement to the insect like you can see here. Now this is optional, but you can go back into object mode, select the armature again, and then just move it up and down, adding some basic location keyframes along your timeline for a bit of extra movement. You can then go ahead and just add some basic lighting into your scene like I did here. I just added in a plane, gave it a black material, and then I just enabled some settings here in EV, added some depth of field, and here we have it, the final animation, and it looks really cool.